not everything that we do is explicit. By the way, not everything that machines do is explicit. Some of these modern neural networks, the transformer networks, we have no idea actually what they're doing and the way how they're doing it. And that's a very important distinction. So you have algorithms or knowledge that are tacit, implicit, or that can be explicit. That goes back to the 1950s, 1950, 50, uh, 58, I think it was for the first time published, Polanyi, personal knowledge. And, and these things become important. That's why I want to talk about in the knowledge age. So a tacit recipe is basically when you do something, but you don't really know what you're doing. You're still doing it. It's uh, the master that teaches the karate kid how to fight karate. Now, the master cannot really teach it. The master just say, well, you, you follow doing this movement. You follow doing this movement. And then at the end, when the kid has learned from the master of what to do, the kid just follow, the karate kid just follows this routine very quickly without really knowing what exactly it is doing. Now, if you would have the explicit algorithm of what you're doing when you're fighting karate, then you could download it. That's what we do in the matrix. So, so if in the matrix, when you learn how to do karate, right, just download the code of karate, and then suddenly, you know, you have a step-by-step -step recipe of fighting, of fighting karate. So what we often do with algorithms, but the algorithm algorithmization game is we have some kind of processes. We don't know what's going on, but we try to figure out step to step what it is in order to convert it into algorithmic form. Then we can code it up. We can write it up. Now, some modern neural nets, transformer networks, they do something. We don't really know what it is. And here the challenge is we have to see like, oh, what are you doing actually? Your algorithm, right? We have to figure out the step by step, step by step recipe of what it's doing. And that goes back, this distinction, especially how it relates to artificial intelligence, goes all the way back to the founding years of, of our field. Uh, once in a, in a conference, they asked Professor John van Neumann, one of the founding founders of, of modern computer science, they asked Professor John von Neumann, a machine cannot think, or can it? And Professor Neumann responded, well, once you tell me exactly what it is a machine cannot do, I can build a machine that can exactly do what you described, step by step. So when you tell me what it is, what thinking is, then I can build a machine that can do exactly that, because once you described it, I can, I can code it up. Then it became explicit. And so while not all algorithms are necessarily explicit, they are also tacit. We want, if once we want to study them and understand what we're doing, uh, it's useful to make them explicit. And the same Professor John von Neumann, therefore, used the technique in order to present what algorithms do. And that goes back here to the, that's 1948. Here he is, uh, John von Neumann. And he, he came up with these flowcharts. So often when we represent algorithms, we represent them in these flowcharts. These are some of the original ones that he came up with in the 1940s. And it explains a process. So you're here in the process and then you can, if that happens, then you go down here. If not, then you go down here and you go, you rattle through this flowchart and you execute a process. Step by step, you execute the recipe. The technical term for these kind of flowcharts is a state machine. 